Can you talk, Mayor, of, about this possible trade-off that's being reported? Um, uh, Israel, U.S. wanting Israel not to attack uh, Iran again, um, but they can invade Rafah. I think all of this is largely theater and largely performative. I mean, basically, Israel has been dangling the threat of an invasion in Rafah for, for months now. Uh, I, it doesn't mean that I don't think it's something that it plans to do, but the U.S. pushback on it, uh, while firm rhetorically, hasn't really been convincing. I, you know, I'm not convinced that the U.S. is actually about to withhold aid, or that, or that the U.S. or Biden were actually going to stop Israel from invading Rafah because they are largely support the war effort. Um, and Israel is almost surely going to respond uh, to the Iranian strike in some way, and it's understandable. You know, if we understand the ways Israel works, that it would do so. Um, I think it's also understandable that Israel, you know, would now, since it hasn't already responded, it's now going to consider its options in how it can do that and how it can leverage uh, the, you know, that that situation. So now, in effect, it has the benefit of being able to kind of dangle both threats. We're both going to attack Iran and we're going to attack uh, Rafah.